Okay. All right. Yo, Sunday morning for all of my gym stars. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. Coming to you live with another video, man. Y'all notice anything different? I bet you do. My wife is making Christmas ornaments. Look at the frosted, y'all probably can't really see it. Look at the frosted Christmas ornament and the regular Christmas ornament. She gonna kill me about that thing right there. Anyway, I know y'all see those in the background. We don't have Breezy in the background holding the chat down today. Uh, hey, it's, it's a beautiful day. And we got on the new one of the newest Gym Star shirts, Unleash the Beast. Uh, this is one of the ones that I made last year, man. But you know, we, that ain't got nothing to do with nothing, man. So I knew y'all noticed some changes around here. Uh, it is what it is. That's just how we going, man. Uh, no breezy in the background holding the chat down, but we do have our ornaments in their place. Anyway, man, check it out. First things first. Video gonna be about 10 minutes. Not gonna be that long today. Brendan Donahue already tweeted, if you if you apply for the NBA 2K League and you wanted to try to get into 2K League, if you have any questions about your application, please email NBA 2K League, uh, yeah, League Ops uh, at NBA.com and include the email address and the full name you're you're using to apply qualifier and application window closes at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you are applying for the 2K League, you already did your 50 games and you're trying to apply for the league and get ready to go into the combine, please make sure that you have all your information in order because if you do not, if you do not, you may be excluded from the league. A lot of times when people, when when, when leagues and, and, and organizations do stuff like this, this is part of the exclusion process. If you can't fill out a simple application properly, uh, something like that, then how you gonna play in the league? How you gonna be able to, to, to perform or do what somebody tells you to? Application is just a formality in most situations. They just wanna see how you're gonna fill it out. Make sure you fill that thing out, man. Girl, you look good once you fill that thing out. You a fine mother. Hey, anyway, it is what it is, man. Check this out. Also, up next in the news, I told you it's gonna be a quick video, man. We're not messing around with y'all ain't playing the radio. It seems like Tassino, even though Tassino, even though Tassino, even though Tassino bet all that money last week, it looks like he made all his money back and then some. If you was, I don't know if you was under a YouTube rock or something like that, or if you just don't pay attention to stuff like this, Logan Paul and KSI, my guy KSI, Black Lamborghini, Black Lamborghini, the original person with wages and pink slips and all of that stuff in the fever community. That's where all this stuff came from. This stuff is all, ain't none of this stuff new. It just gets recycled. But anyway, KSI fought Logan Paul last night. I ain't gonna lie. It was a good fight. It was a, it was a watchable fight. They were throwing some haymakers. Uh, it was a lot of wild, wild punches thrown. I feel like at any time, uh, if I was Logan Paul, and he did do it one time, I would have just stepped inside one of those wild, wild looping rights that um that KSI was throwing, slip inside of it, get get here, and bam, and just hit him with a little uppercut or a check hook or something like that. Something like, you know what I'm saying? Like when somebody throwing wild punches, I was because I was watching it with uh Aaliyah's Precious Life and her dad was they were they were watching it, and I was watching watching them, and he was saying the same thing. All that wild punching that ain't gonna do nothing for you against somebody that knows what they're doing. Uh, but obviously these two are amateurs or what have you, but uh, I'm, I'm just thinking this is in my head When you end up with no gear on it's a lot different and you punching and you punching and your hands are getting heavy because those gloves are heavy and stuff It's a whole lot different man So my salute to anybody that ever gets into the ring man But I'm just saying like my my acumen says soon as somebody throw one of them one of those rights You get it right and you time it and then the next time I see that next time I'm looking for that because I know he's gonna do it again the next time I see that I'm inside boom Woo, boy Hey, I almost had a flashback, but I'm, I'm inside it like that. And and that's what I'm thinking. But it's a lot harder to do, and I'm plus I'm old now. But I almost punched my phone into my computer and broke my screen. Whew, them hands quick. But anyway, check it out. If you saw the fight, who do y'all think won? I mean, KSI just kept coming. He was more active. Um, And after Logan Paul caught him with that check hook, if Lo I feel like if Logan Paul hadn't hit him in the back of the head with the rabbit punch when he went down, uh, they probably, he probably, I don't, I don't, think, I don't think KSI gets up. Uh, in time for the 10 count or whatever or or after he had him hurt you got to press the issue but i don't know if they're trying to do a ksi logan paul three and do another draw well but anyway at any rate let's go ksi i believe in you look he bet four thousand dollars which is the sum that he was down in the in the wages pretty much and won 10 grand because the doggone odds was against ksi so bad 
convincing the wisdom does say Logan Paul got the reach. Logan Paul got the physique. I don't know if he got this type of physique right here, but Logan Paul got the physique, and 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 he go, and, and he should be able to do it. But KSI plays soccer. He can he can go for a long time. And uh, KSI won. I mean I mean KSI won the fight. And so my guy Tysino was able to uh, recoup some of that money. Bet four thousand, won ten thousand. And uh, you know him and Chico Dusty probably was like, put the kids to bed and break out the China, cause we gonna ride tonight. I know they was out there watching some of I mean, ooh, I know them boys. I know them boys was out there doing their thing. Boy, I done broke my mouse with that check hook. Woo, hold on one second. Hey, I'm telling you, I don't wanna be on the wrong end of that, cause I'm trying to go to the next thing, but they won't let me. Anyway, let's get back to it. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe for more daily 2K content. Let's keep it rolling, man. But anyway, like I said, who do y'all think? Do y'all think that uh there was a smart bet by Ticino? Do you think that maybe he shouldn't have bet on that? If I had the money to bet, I definitely would have bet on KSI. But four grand, bro, these dudes gonna be making some real money. They throwing money around like Floyd Mayweather on this stuff. But there's some good people at the fight, man. I seen um uh, Wiz Khalifa was at the fight. You already know he was he was uh, throwing up the sign, but hey, he live in California, man. It's legal there. So, you know, hey, you got to do what you got to do. Anyway, check it out. Uh, next topic. Poor Boy Sin has been passed on the top rep. Somebody tweeted me yesterday and said, Zay, did you know that Poor Boy Sin has been passed passed by some guys that's boosting? And uh, I think I was talking about, I don't know if these guys are boosting or not. I can't tell you that. I can't speak to that. I can't say anything because I, I know nothing of this. But it seems that somebody named Feed Your Kids has passed Poor Boy Sin uh, on the PlayStation in the rep race. Somebody said that they're boosting. If they are boosting, Boosting is still in the game, man. Like, I'm telling you, I was watching Twitch yesterday, and I seen people boosting. I saw people going into the three-on-three -three comps, the, the, the you know, the three-on-three -three, uh, matchmaking, and loading up, uh, playing against their friends, beating the dog off of them, and then they were then they were just leaving. Nobody gets a loss. The game never gets recorded. None of it, it, it and it really never happened. So, hey, it's one of those things where it's like, if, if it's in the game, you know people are going to do it. There's no integrity amongst thieves. There's none of that stuff. People are going to do what you allow them to do. If your girl keep taking you back and you keep stepping out, odds are you're going to keep on stepping out, even though that's a fallacy because if your girl don't take you back, if you keep on stepping out, you're probably going to find somebody that just don't get too, too mad when you step out and keep taking you back. You know, uh, people's behaviors don't really change you just find somebody that can deal with it a little bit better. I mean, that's just, that's just how I, that's just how I've seen it. But uh, cause if, like if I didn't have a wife that didn't care about me being on the gram, I would find a wife that didn't care. I mean, you know, if one one of them did, I just couldn't deal with her. I just have to find somebody that can deal with me being on the gram. That's just how it is. But people gonna do what you allow them to do, man. Uh, for the for the betterment or for the worst of of the situation. And um, uh, if they are boosting, that's how they're doing it, man. You can literally go into the three on three program and boost all day long. And, and play the game, boost, throw alleys, throw alleys, throw You probably can throw 100 alleys in one game. Just keep the game close, throw 100 alleys in the game, and then just, just win. I mean, we already saw, we already showed you the graphic of how Chalk was able to beat uh to beat Poor Boy Sin. Just think about this right here now. This is in a game, in a game going to, um, going to a finite number, right? Chalk is able to put up 8,000 points in assists. This is in a game going to a finite number. In a game going to an infinite number, you could, you could, you could, you could probably put up 80,000 points, bro, and and it would be nothing. And then, man, and there's no way anybody could keep up with that. And as long as that's in the game, we can't really say how, you know what I'm saying? We we, we can't really say how how legitimate it is if somebody passes by. Um, you know, passes by poor boy sin. If they are cheating, if they're not cheating, my hats off to them, man. You just grind your tail off and all that. We gonna hope they're not cheating, but if they are cheating and they boosting, that's how they doing it, man. You can literally sit in those three on threes and match up with your friends. You can play who you want to play. You don't even have to go to the empty park. 2K allows you to play who you want to play. You go in there, you're still getting ripped. You're not getting a loss in any of that, man. So like a lot of this stuff ain't legit, man. It just is what it is. But that's not what we're here to talk about, man. Um, you know, like that, that, that right there, it's the boosting, it's the boosting culture. It's just like what Brutus Sim was saying yesterday, man. You cannot, 
you cannot have a game like this where where uh you got events and you got stuff like that and and i mean how you gonna have a game like that where people can boost and there are big joints on the line you know what i'm saying there are there are really big stakes on the line i don't i don't understand how we how we doing that so you know it is what it is like i seen brutus sim yesterday um brutus sim yesterday was playing the game and uh he was like when he started the game he was down like ten thousand points it was insane I don't get it. It just is what it is. How can you be down that many points in the game just started like two minutes ago? He's in the arena when the game starts. But it is what it is, man. Like I said, we got a boosting culture around here, uh, and that's just how it is. But, hey, real quick video for y'all this morning, man. I didn't want to take up too much of y'all Sunday morning time. Go do whatever you got to do. Go to church. Go to mosque. Go to mass. Go to wherever you go. Or go to sleep if that's what you want to do. Or go to the park. Hit whatever you want to do, man. Go to the gym. Get ready. Do what you got to do. But enjoy your day. Spend some time with your people. And the question that I got for y'all today is, Steph Murph, I mean, um, Britannia Rezavi or Steph Murphs? That's what I got for y'all today. Britannia Rezavi or Steph Murphs? Y'all let me know down in the comments who you got winning. I know who I got winning, but who you got winning? Y'all can do your own research. Steph Murphs. Or Britannia Rezavi. Y'all told me I need to have pictures on this. Hey, I told y'all we got a lot of changes going on around here, man. Everything is right now. It's right and it's tight. And I'm out of here, man. I'm going to y'all next time. Until next time. It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Town. Godspeed. If you like the video, like the video. Subscribe for more daily 2K content. Um, Like I said, do you think KSI really won? Is, is Ticino really crazy for continuing to bet? Even though he got back to even and more? And make sure you get your 2K application in, man. And I'm gone. Peace.